Next we're looking at JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. In this file we've got uh, our window on load function, the function init, this is the code that's going to run after the page loads, and then up at the top here I've got a global variable called my data. Now I'm going to set my data equal to this, just the open and closed curly braces. That in JavaScript signifies an object, just a blank object that you can put whatever properties you want into it. We can, inside of here, create a property called people, then a colon, and then I can set that equal to anything that I want. This is what an object is. This could be a number. Notice how the notation over here on the side here, the little red mark, that disappears. This is a proper object. I could use that as it stands. I could put a string. People could be equal to a string. This is the name of the property. This is the value. Or we can put an array. The square brackets, the two square brackets by themselves. That will create an empty array. Inside there, I can put something further. I could have an array of numbers. I can have an array of strings. that, or, which is more likely, I can have an array of objects. We can put as many things in there as we want. Each one of these objects can, in turn, have properties inside of it. So we can create a property called name, that's Bob, and a property called email. And we create a value for that, bob at home.org. There we go. So that is the first element inside the array called people. We can duplicate the process here in the second one. Create another name. This one can be John. And the email property can have a value of john at work.com. There we go. Now I'm just going to, for space sake, delete that last one. So what we have here is an object, this whole thing collectively I can refer to with the variable my data. Inside of there, there's one property called people. It is an array. Inside that array, we have two objects and each one of the objects has a name and an email property. So, down inside of our init function, if we were to access this, we can say console.log mydata.people People is an array, so it gets square brackets. Zero is the first one. Dot name. That will give me Bob. I do a second one here, console.log my data dot people one. That's going to be the second one from up here. If I access the name off that one, I'm going to be getting John. If I want to get one of the email addresses, console.log my data dot people zero, that's the first one, dot email, that will get me bob at home dot org. Okay, so that's how we access any one of these things. That's how JSON works. It's a combination of any number of objects and arrays just nested inside of each other time after time. You can have the first property be an array, we create another property in here, which say the second property is count colon two. There we go. I have created two properties now. The first one's called people, the second one is called count. To access that one, console.log my data dot count. 
that will get me the number 2. And that's all we need to do. So if I want to look at this in the browser, I'll jump over there. And there we are. Our refreshes. Bob, John, Bob at home.org, and 2. 2 was the count. This was the email address from the first element. This is the name from the first, and this is the email from the second. And that's all there is to reading JSON.